somewhere in the course of time there lies Isranasa, a world blessed by peace and tranquility. Surrounded by seas of sparkling cobalt, the lands of Isranasa were once divided among five kingdoms, Farlane, Wingard, Norlin, Sordis, and Mortavia. Of the five, Farlane prospered under the rule of King Cole and the Just. But it was a prosperity that ended on the night of the seventh moon when Farlane's capital, Sylvan, was unexpectedly invaded by a horde of savage monsters. Battered and confused from the surprise attack, the soldiers of Farlane were unable to prevent the monsters from entering the castle walls. Despite the seemingly hopeless situation, Farlane prevailed. And by the break of dawn, not a monster remained standing. However, the joys of victory were short-lived. For King Corwin was dead, leaving Farlane without a leader. Shortly thereafter, Baron Drax assumed the regency in place of Prince Logan, Corwin's son, who was considered to be too young to inherit the throne. To ensure the safety of the young prince, Logan was sent to the village of exile on the Isle of Glen. There, he was to stay until his 16th birthday when he could finally be crowned king. That was ten years ago. Hi there, this is David and welcome to Let's Play Dragon Slayer The Legend of Heroes. This is the very first Legend of Heroes game ever made and it was actually tacked on to part of the Dragon Slayer series. This is technically Dragon Slayer 6. If you don't know what Dragon Slayer is, you're in good company. I never really heard of it either. Uh, basically, it is a eight-part series released pretty much only in Japan. Uh, there were two games that were released in America, Faxanadu and Sorcerion, but they weren't under the Dragon Slayer umbrella in America. They were just, you know, their very own games. Anyway, this was released in uh, 1992 in America for the um, TurboGrafx-16, in Japan, it was released for the PC, the Mega Drive, the SNES. It was even remade for the Sega Saturn and the PlayStation. So this is a really popular series. However, its sequel, Legend of Heroes 2, has never seen the light of day in America. This is the first Legend of Heroes games released here in America up until the uh, PSP versions of the Garkarf trilogy starting with uh, Tier of a Million. Anyway, this is a pretty decent game. It has HORRIBLE voice acting. It's like, laughably bad. Um, but, eh, it's decent. I like it. It's kind of like a Dragon Quest clone. So come and join me for Dragon Slayer Legend of Heroes! <laughs> 